Hello. YouTube is a wonderful educational resource. There are many, many videos at YouTube that can be used to enrich learning. And there are several different ways in which you can link to a YouTube video from Moodle. You can, if you wish, just put a hyperlink in so that the YouTube web page opens up for the user or you could put a link in that would make a particular YouTube video appear in a pop-up window. But many people like to have the YouTube video actually appear on the main Moodle course page because it adds visual interest to the page. And the simplest way to do this in Moodle 2 is to use the file picker. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So, as usual, I start by turning editing on of my course. I'm going to add the video to the text at the top of topic one here, but what I'm describing would work equally well within a label. So I click the button to edit the summary text. I'll put some text in. Below is a video about South End Pier. Then I have to click on the Moodle Media button. I want to find or upload a sound video applet, so I click here. And then the file picker opens and I need to select YouTube videos. Now, if you can't find YouTube videos over on the left of the list in the file picker, then you need to talk to your Moodle administrator for that person to set up YouTube video in the file picker. There's a box here, search videos. There are two things you can do here. What I could do is to put the thing I'm looking for in here, South End Pier, and if I click search, then I will get lots of different YouTube videos, I can choose one, South End Pier. But what I prefer to do is to actually have gone onto YouTube beforehand to research what I think is the best video. And if I've done that, all I need to write in the search videos box is the URL, the address of that YouTube video. So I'll just put that in there. And now what comes up is the actual video that I know that I want. So I double click on that and it appears. You can change the author if you wish and choose the license. And then I select this file, press insert. Now don't be alarmed when you get back to the text editing box. It looks as though I've just put a hyperlink in here. But when I save this, you will see, I hope, that the video is actually on the page. Yes, so there's the video. It's actually been inserted on my main Moodle page. Now, just one word of warning about putting the URL of a YouTube video into the search within the file picker. You have to get the right sort of uh, URL, and this is what I mean. Quite often, a YouTube address, a YouTube URL, will have some words at the end. And if you put in the whole of this address, it won't work. So what you have to do is to delete these words, going back to and including the ampersand. That's the and symbol. So if you delete that, including the ampersand, and if you copy and paste that, it will work. Actually, all you need are these last 11 characters of the YouTube. The search function will work with that again. And that is how you insert a YouTube video using the file picker. There are other methods of doing it, as I said at the beginning, and there are methods which give you a bit more control about the size of it on the page, but that's the simple way. Bye for now.